This video will show you how to fill and install a new cartridge onto your tandem pump and fill the pump tubing. In this video, we will be using the following items. We recommend using room temperature insulin to minimize the risk of air bubbles. Refer to your user guide for detailed instructions for drawing insulin from a vial. How much insulin you put in will be determined in conjunction with your healthcare team, but a good rule is to fill at least 120 units, but no more than 300 units for our T-Slim pumps. Be aware that overfilling can damage your cartridge. If your pump screen times out at any point during the load process, just unlock your pump and it will resume right where you left off. First, examine your cartridge and packaging for any visible damage. If you suspect the cartridge may be damaged, do not use it. Now, open the package and remove the cartridge. Next, holding your cartridge upright, insert the needle into the white fill port on the top of the cartridge. It should stop about halfway, but occasionally will go all the way in. Either way is fine, but do not try to force it once you feel some resistance. Keeping your cartridge and syringe both vertical, slowly pull up on the plunger until it is fully retracted in order to remove any residual air in the cartridge. You'll probably see some bubbles during this step. With the needle still in the cartridge, gently release the plunger. Air pressure will pull it back to a neutral position, but will not push any air back into the cartridge. Now you can remove the needle from the fill port. This step removes any air that may have been trapped in the cartridge bag. Turn the syringe upside down and pull back some on the plunger. Flick or tap the syringe to release any air bubbles so that they rise to the top. Once you've gotten all the air bubbles loose, slowly press up on the plunger to remove the air from the syringe. A common place for air bubbles to get stuck is in the orange needle hub, so be sure to inspect that area. Stop when you see drops of insulin at the tip of the needle. Now it's time to reinsert the needle into the fill port on your cartridge and slowly press the plunger to fill your cartridge with insulin. It's normal to feel some resistance towards the end. After you have filled your cartridge, maintain pressure on the plunger as you remove the needle. If everything looks good and there are no leaks, you've successfully filled your cartridge and are ready to install it onto your pump. Now, turn on and unlock your pump and from the home screen, tap Options, then tap Load. Next, tap Change Cartridge. The pump will tell you that all deliveries will be stopped, which is fine, since you don't want to be trying to pump while you're changing your cartridge. So tap Yes to continue. Next, you'll be prompted to disconnect your infusion set from your body. Tap Next to continue. You should see the Preparing for Cartridge screen. Remove your used cartridge using the removal tool. You can also use a coin. Install your newly filled cartridge by placing the bottom edge at the end of the pump, like this, and lining up the grooves on either side of the cartridge with these guide tracks on the pump. Once lined up properly, push the cartridge on until you feel it click into place. The cartridge should fit smoothly against the pump. Your pump will take a few moments to detect the newly installed cartridge. Next, your pump will prompt you to fill your tubing with insulin Never, ever fill your tubing when it's connected to your body. This could result in the unintended delivery of insulin. Always disconnect your infusion set from your body before you begin a load sequence. Your pump will remind you of this each time you tap load. Before you can fill your tubing, you need to connect your tubing to the cartridge. Your infusion set may look different, but the tubing fill process is the same. Insert this end into the tubing lock connector on your cartridge and twist clockwise. Make sure it's nice and tight. A loose connection can lead to delivery problems, so it's always a good idea to double check and when in doubt, give it an extra twist. Now tap Start. Next, turn your pump so it's vertical. This allows any residual air left in your cartridge to be pumped out first. Your pump will beep periodically to let you know that it is filling the tubing. As the tubing fills, you may notice some small air bubbles in the first few inches of insulin. Very tiny ones aren't a concern, but anything larger should be pumped out. Even though air bubbles themselves will not harm you, there could be a risk of high blood sugar if air is infused in place of insulin. Once you notice three drops come out of the end of the tubing and you're satisfied that there are no large air bubbles left, tap Stop. 
your pump will ask you to confirm that you saw drops at the end of the tubing. If you saw drops, tap Done. If you stopped the fill process before you saw drops, tap Fill to continue. You have now successfully filled your tubing. Refer to the instructions for your specific infusion set to insert and fill your cannula, then resume insulin delivery 